Hello and welcome back to Radical Removans. This should be the last episode before um, the backlog has ended. If you know, well, if you know what I'm meaning. So, like next episode, I'm gonna have all your feedback and I'm gonna be able to make all sorts of changes. But this episode, not so much. However, we have just got a border with the Byzantines, and look what just happened. There's a Byzantine revolt. It seems like a very obvious choice. We declare another war. Yeah immediately after the last war. Our threat is going to be insane, but at the same time, holy war, lot of land, seems like a good idea to me. Yeah, let's do it. Holy war for Bessarabia. Declare. Everyone's for it. Let's raise up our troops. Uh, I can't hire them because they're already hired. Could hire them, but we can't afford them. Right. So I want to grab all these troops here. Is this everybody? This is everybody. Okay. And I want to just start merging down here. Well, merge down here. That's alright. Once we have 10k, we'll uh, move into the next province. Following in the suit steps of Vilnius has brought you down many paths you not otherwise tread, and we found out a new plot. Oh well. Whatever. And we need to accomplish in a small scheme. Shaman Erdvilas proved to be an unexpected ally. Think what mutual benefits can do to unite two souls. Well, it's pure business at first, it turns out you have plenty in common, such as your reverence of Vilnius. Now you spend more time conversing than plotting. Oh yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll definitely, um, become friends, and, if that's alright. Yeah, we are now friends, and now I'm going to convert him into, yeah, I'm going to recruit him to the cold ones. He likes Vilnius so much. Meeting with Shaman Erdvilas, I make sure to only cautiously mention the absolute power, um, of Almighty Divas. Thankfully, it seems that my chosen curf, uh, my carefully chosen words had the desired effect on him. From his glittering eyes, I got a distinct impression he enjoyed the philosophical aspect of our conversation. A sensible man. I've arranged a run-in with him on the palisades of his temple today. His face lights up when he's seeing me, and we stay out, uh, stay out talking for hours. I offer him a protection spell in a leather pouch, of course. I do not explain the consent, yet he smiles, accepting the token. This needs one more little push. When I proceed to reveal the brand of my lower arm, I'm certain the final hook would sink in. Erdvilas inhaled sharply, worrying me for a second. You truly are a cold on then, he says, eager and relieved. Can you help me bring down my enemies? He continues, eyes pleading. Patience, brother. We'll speak more soon. Right. Oh. I revolt. Everybody, go home. Go home. You're not needed anymore. Yep. Uh, wait a second. Band any that are left. Disband. Disband. Right. Head back home. Right. No war on the Byzantines. Well, we could declare on the actual Byzantines, but... I mean, they are weak enough that we could declare. We do, however, have a raised army levy of 60 up there. Is, the thing is, it's not urgent to declare anymore, and now I think it's probably better to let our um, retinue recharge. Before, it was kind of urgent, so we needed to do it then and there. Just checking everyone's got the right job. Um, I think so, yeah. Uh, he's converting, but I'm just checking it's the right place. Yeah, it is. We're organizing the army, but you should probably be training troops in Memel right now. Threat level is dropping. That's okay. Uh, I do want to do some more building. Let's get another um, barracks built in here. Let's keep upgrading. Uh, keep the information to myself. I just realized our new province, uh, Cop, here. We can probably get um, towards Castle Town, right? Need 140 gold. Yeah. And now I can build the Castle Town in there and get us a little bit more income as well. Because a lot more income means that we can do a lot more stuff. Pretty much, it's that simple. Uh, titles are being usurped, but I don't need to worry about it too much. The Sean Nepal has seen your good work, v uh, Vedun. Er, Dennis, the recruit you sent us, Shaman Erdvilas, has now completed his induction into the coven. I thank you for your this contribution. It will not be forgotten. That was our friend who, who sent us this. <laughs> he said, yes, I'm happy that you recruited me into it. Well, I mean, that is good. Excellent. Right. Uh, so now I have enough divine power to get myself a familiar as well. Nice. Let's grab one. As Vedun and Weaver of the Koldovos, 
Cold Cold Dove's foe. I can summon any. I can summon a supernatural beast to be my companion. This familiar will be my eyes and ears as well as imbue me with its powers. So do I want cat, wool, owl, or raven? Oh, it's got to be raven, right? Yeah, we'll have ourselves a raven. That's definitely the coolest of those, right? Might just be me. Although the great conversion of Baron Jar was a success, my work to uh, help Emperor Kez Hepa's savage people turn into proper remover converts is not done yet. I'm going to send them some priests. I was glad for your arrival of your missionaries. The sooner all of Baron Jar becomes remover, the better for everyone. Fantastic. Yeah. Betrothed to Kamari. My half-sister and my kinsman. Yeah, sure, whatever. That seems alright. Right. Carry on. Um, your fellow member of the Cold Ones has been caught. We are continuing to lose members of the society, but at least we recruited a new one, so that's good. Um, my friend and fellow brother in winter, Erd Vilas, and I have been discussing a small devotion to Baba Yaga when he suddenly stood up, stretched, and said, I'm in the mood for mayhem. Let's dress up and head down to the town. Oh yeah, I'll bring my implements. Definitely. Wearing nondescript common clothes, Erd Vilas and I are slowly making our way to town in amicable silence. We pass by a neatly kept garden in front of a cozy looking house. I'm suddenly overcome with hatred and revulsion. The family is clearly favoured by a Gabija. Um, keep going, they'll live for now. The tavern was packed when we arrived. Udvelas distracted the tavern keeper while I closed the barrels with I dosed the barrels with Dreamer's Delight. An hour later the mood was getting festive. That's when Udvelas decided to play a, pr a prank on me. Locking me into a room with three burly warriors who were standing, or were starting to rave and hallucinate. Uh, the curse of Pulunokia upon you, bastard. Oh, friendship between us has ended, and I've gained dark power. Though my last act of worship has been some time ago, I can still sense the inhuman touch upon my soul whenever I think about what I did. I've become a changed man. I'm now deceitful. Okay, the intrigue is very, very high with us. Vida grows more beautiful every day. I had my doubts at first, but now I cannot deny them any longer. The child is surely blessed. When my, when my wife played Zeminia during the festival, the goddess must have touched the child within her and gifted her with beauty and purity. She's now known as the Heavenly and is attractive. Fantastic. Good news. Right, still reinforcing. Still letting time move on as quickly as possible. It's all going well. Child needs an education. Uh, let's give you diplomacy. Yeah. Right. Lately, I've been experiencing a blinding pain where my missing eye used to be. It distracts me from my duties and leaves me bedridden for entire days. I've never heard of anything like it and fear the problem will not go away on its own. I'll have my court physician prioritize this. It's a phantom pain. I see. Um, We could heal ourselves, right? We do have dark healing. Let's heal ourselves. Though I may suffer for now, no earthly ailment is beyond the power of Shurnabog. I am preparing a great ritual to cleanse my body and become like new. Shurnabog may take, Shurnabog may give. What power Shurnabog displays? A pain of regrowth is immense, but I am restored. I've got my eye back. That was kind of what I was going for. We would look a little less epic, but... Surely someone's got to notice. They've got to be like, did he not have uh, one eye before? I guess nobody's going to bring it up, right? Because if I did get the eye back, how did I do it? <laughs> you know? There's a, there's really only a very limited number of options. Oh, we got the uh, Beric tribe back. Okay. Uh, well, Beric tribe is underneath this duchy, which I'm going to create. Uh, and this duchy is all held by random people. I'm going to give it to this guy. Right, him. Beric. Actually, where's the duchy? To Ungvar. Yeah, include lower titles. Perfect. Oh, he already had he held land up here as well. Oh, I shouldn't have given him that, but he is my nephew, so you know, that's fine. Uh, all right, yeah, yeah, that's fine. He can have that land. I'm not overly worried about it. Right, let's continue building. Uh, oh, we should build more in Coop if we can as well. Uh, next castle town needs us to have castle walls one. Well, I'll build castle walls one then. Uh, I'm 
As I'm beating a rabid dog in the yard, the little cur Vida runs up and starts hitting me with a stick. How weak. How adorable. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, just the other day, skulking as I often do, I caught Chief Romantis and my niece Aldona in flagrant. Ooh, give me some money. We need a new advisor. New advisor is going to be the King of Vladimir. And we also need uh, a new commander. New commander is going to be... Um... You'll be my son. I think I'm going to make it this guy for just now. Right. Are we fully reinforced? Ooh, we got four gold from that uh, blackmail. We're not quite fully reinforced. We got a little bit more to go. New commander needed. We're going to go for that one. Right. Let's carry on building. Get as much little bits of gold here and there as we can. I think I want to get a few more buildings in our capital, but we'll see. For, for some time now, my dear diviner and brother in winter, Erd Vilas, and I have been researching the proper ritual. He's no longer my friend, but he's still my uh, dear diviner. I've been researching the proper ritual for invoking a certain greater demon. A few weeks back, our brethren managed to procure an ancient clay tablet with missing incantation. We stand ready to attain powers undreamed of by mortal men. A limited power. A grand summoning. Our coven surrounds the summoning circle. The correct symbols are drawn and the fatty candles burning a sickly green. Erdvilas uh, intones the final invocation just as I offer up the sacrifice. Distracted by the spurting blood, at first I don't notice the man standing in the circle like he was there all along. Looking straight at me for a smirk, he says, Bravely done, child. You have no understanding of the forces you're meddling with, but I did find your sacrifice pleasing. Quid pro quo. Name your desire, boy. Great lord, I seek power. We got the Blessing of Azazel and 100 Dark Power. Fantastic. We have a lot of Dark Power. don't really know what to do with it, but that's okay. The corruption crept upon me so slowly I did not realize what was happening before it was too late. The dark tendrils of Shurnabog's magic have invaded my mouth and twisted my tongue. As I attempt to speak, my words fail me, making social interactions awkward and the casting of spells tedious and draining. Or stutterer. Ah, oh, that's awful. Right. Um... What do we want to do now? I We have a lot of... We do have a lot of intrigue. We should probably use it. But there's not really a lot of use for intrigue. Unless you're going to do plots. And not really that interesting. I suppose we could get rid of people who are plot, Who are, um... You know, acting against us. Yeah. Like, I could just try and kill people. Uh, yeah. Let's just plot to kill. That seems alright. We get 95% of the plot power by ourselves. Uh, we also... Do we have anything else I want to do? Um, I could unholy impregnate my uh, wife, I suppose, and get more children. Uh, can I not unholy impregnate her? I guess not. Um, I don't know. How about my daughter-in-law? Also a no. Okay. What were the conditions for unholy impregnation? Oh, it has to be a female follower of Schoenabog. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to recruit my uh, daughter-in-law. I cannot recruit her. Why not? Because she does not follow the right religion. You know, that's a, that's a fair reason. Fair reason. Uh, I'm going to recruit my wife. Yes, that works. Good. Let's go for that. Meeting with Empress Lema, I made sure to only cautiously question the absolute power of our almighty Divas. Regretfully, it seems my words only irritated my wife from the steely look she gave me. I should probably steer clear of her for now. No, fair enough, fair enough. We'll do that. Uh, I can give up something for my son. Uh, that's a no from me. Organize some blood games, though. That's definitely a yes. I could go raiding as well. I should go raiding. I also don't need that those retinue. I should go raiding. Is that my full... That's my full retinue? That's not been reinforcing properly. Oh, okay. Well, we'll move them over here. It's probably because they, they keep taking attrition or something stupid. Oh, the person who fought in the previous Blood Games is going to fight in this one as well. Oh, fantastic. Because I'm deceitful, I can poison his weapons. But because I'm a mystic, I'm going to give him another 20 personal combat skill. There are many legends about the great man whose blood I share. A particular story has been circling at court lately. It focuses on an epic feat where Vanius proves his strength of character. Do you want to be wroth? Yeah, I'll be wroth. Alright. He has defeated round one and he has won the tournament again. 
He is two-time Blood Tournament Champion. Oh wow. He is definitely the chosen one. Okay. There might have been a time when the sight of blood unsettled me or when the wailing of a child could make my dagger quake and fill with dread. But not any longer. The gods have granted me the fortitude to perform their sacred work. So I'm a hemophant and... What's this one? That's just we sacrificed him. Okay, so I guess we sacrificed everyone else who was in the um, tournament. How many have we sacrificed right, so far? That's the wrong one. 40. That's pretty good. Following in the footsteps of Vilnius, we found out a plot about this guy. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, we converted the majority of the population to our religion. Nice. Uh, right, convert the next one. Okay, carry on, carry on. My co-conspirators procured a poisonous viper that will soon dig its fangs into Chief Lutaveris. Uh, we have a kin... Uh, yeah, we have a new kinswoman, Danila. That's okay. Failure. She, he managed to evade the snake and the guards caught the serpent as it tried to slither away. The seller was identified and revealed my complicity. Oh, okay. Well, that's not great. Uh, ooh. Another person in our um, society has been caught. And we've finished building castle walls and coop, which I think means that we can now build, yeah, another castle town. Nice. A couple of buildings about to finish, get us a little bit more troops. Great news, great news. Uh, oh, we another member of the Cold Ones has disappeared. Uh, okay, we still have a fair number, but actually there are quite a lot imprisoned, aren't there? Uh, I'm going to do... Oh, wait, is this Vassal actually in any factions? He is, fantastic. Well, we're just going to force him out. Something rotten in Memel. I have suspicions about a plot, maybe an assassination or something. Horrifying unraveling in front of my unseeing eyes. I'll find out what's going on. I think I found the culprits. Evalda. Okay. Right, I've got him out of the factions. Lovely. Lovely. I caught the cook and Evalda plotting against me. When I confronted them, they denied it at first, but broke down eventually and confessed they were planning to humiliate me. How they planned to do that, they refused to say. I forgave them, even though that was hard. Oh. Okay, I thought he said he wasn't going to be in any plots. Maybe he's been forced to be in it? I don't know. I have just received news that Emperor... His Hapa, the wise pagan ruler, petitioned me to help him convert his realm, has died. I can only hope that his successor is as enlightened as he is. Who was his successor? This guy. No, he is not as enlightened. Oh, well, he walks with Dai Vast now. Uh, you've found me proof that this person is slandering me. Well, let's have a look here. He is in a faction, so I'm going to threaten him out of them. Right. we got two children who need to be educated. You... My um, beautiful child will get the uh, stewardship, and you, my not beautiful child, will get the diplomacy. Right. He swore to stare at factions. Oh, good job. Oh, oh now he, another other one left the faction. Our factions are now very weak. That's good to see. Good to see. Our retinue is actually reinforcing now as well, which is nice. Empress Li Shunzong, known for her isolationist policy, has died. Li Ruzong now sits on the dragon throne. It said that he especially appreciates Balto Slavic cultures but despises Al Altaic cultures. Ours is not ours is Baltic, but it's not Baltic Slavic, so I don't think it actually counts. I think they are different technically, maybe? As in in the game. I don't know. Right, uh ooh. We have a little bit more gold that we can spend to get some military stuff. We can choose a new one of these. We can choose castle infrastructure because it lets us get the next tier of um castle towns when we want to. Uh, yeah, but we need 400 gold for that, but... Oh, look at that, we have 400 gold. Let's get a uh, next level of Castle Town. Oh, we are... vomiting. Well, that's not good. Thinks it's not a serious illness. Well, we'll see. It is strapped to a chair and sleeping upright for days. Oh, extra health. Not bad. Some extra money. And we have stopped vomiting, and with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.